1810년 영국의 하이버리. It is still time to reconsider, my dear Miss Taylor. Come back home with us. 가정교사인 테일러의 준비를 성공시킨 엠마. But I am very happy to become Mr. Weston's wife. Truly, I am. 그렇게 테일러의 결혼식이 열리고. I, William Francis Weston, take the Anna Taylor. Poor Miss Taylor. Oh, Father. 유도 외로움을 많이 탔던 엠마의 아버지는 오랜 시간 함께 형 그녀가 떠나는 것이 슬프기만 한데요. But Father, you wouldn't have Miss Taylor live with us forever when she could have a house of her own. It's been a long time since I needed a governess. 그날 저녁 결혼식에 참석하지 못한 사돈 나이트리가 엠마와 아버지를 찾아오죠. Who cried most? Ah, poor Miss Taylor. Poor Mr. Woodhouse. Poor Miss Woodhouse, if you like, but I can't say poor Miss Taylor. Emma에게 유독 냉랭한 나이트리는 매우 직설적인 성격이었는데요. Especially when one of those two is such a fanciful, troublesome creature, is that what you were thinking? Perhaps. I'm afraid that's very true. I believe I am sometimes very fanciful and troublesome. Dearest Papa, I didn't mean you. Mr. Knightley didn't mean you. I meant only myself. Mr. Knightley loves to find fault with me, you know. Oh dear. In a joke. It is all a joke. Ah, yes, of course. We always say what we like to one another. 서로에게 날선 두 사람의 기성은 끝날 줄을 모르고. And you've forgotten one matter of joy to me that I made the match myself. You made a lucky guess, Emma. That's all that can be said for you. 가정교사 테일러의 주선 성공에 자신감이 붙은 엠마는 젊은 목사 에이튼의 아내까지 찾아 나서려 하죠. But he has been here a whole year, and he has fitted out the vicarage so comfortably. It'd be a shame to have him single any longer. Harriet Smith, she's somebody's natural daughter, you know. She seems a very sweet, genteel girl. Indeed, she is. Emma는 동갑내기인 해리엇에게 친밀감을 느끼고 평범한 신분의 그녀를 상류층의 시집 보낼 계획을 짜게 됩니다. And particularly bearing in mind the misfortune of your birth, you should be very careful whom you choose as your friends. Oh, do you think so? I'm quite sure of it. Thank you, Mr. Elton. 엘튼의 친절한 행동을 본 엠마는 그가 해리엇에게 관심이 있을 거라 확신하고. Why not? Stranger things have happened. 그러나 오랜 시간 해리엇을 흠모해온 남자는 따로 있었는데요. Miss Woodhouse, there is Mr. Martin. Oh really? Oh dear. Oh Miss Woodhouse, please say what you think of him. 그저 평범한 농부인 그가 엠마의 눈에 찰리 없었죠. But that is nothing compared with his entire lack of gentility. Much, but I had no idea he could be so very clownish, so totally without air. 엠마는 해리어스 짝으로 나이트리나 엘튼 같은 품이 있는 신사를 생각하고 있었고. But Mr. Knightley is so very fine a man. And Mr. Elton, who has paid you such particular attentions, you must see the difference. And I think Mr. Elton is becoming very fond of you. Harriet, have you ever had your likeness taken? 초상화를 핑계로 해리엇의 아름다움을 찬찬히 살펴보게 하려는 엠마. 하지만 그는 해리엇보단 엠마에게 관심이 있어 보이죠. 누가 봐도 소질 없어 보이는 그린 실력에 칭찬을 아끼지 않는 엘튼. Or consider she's sitting down. And the proportions, you know, must be preserved. 그러던 어느 날, 해리엇이 다급한 발걸음으로 편지 한 장을 내놓는데요. But this letter is from Mr. Robert Martin. Yes. Didn't I say that? 마틴의 청어 소식에 엠마는 단칼에 거절하라 이야기하죠. I lay it down as a general rule, Harriet, that if a woman doubts, she certainly ought to refuse him. But do not imagine I want to influence you. Oh no, I'm sure. Harriet, you must be the best judge of your own happiness. Do you truly prefer Mr. Martin to every other man you've ever met? Do not be run away with by gratitude and compassion. I have now quite determined and have almost made up my mind to refuse Mr. Martin. 
And now I can tell you what I could not tell you before, because I would not influence you. Had you accepted him, I would have lost my friend. I could not have visited Mrs. Robert Martin of Abbey Mill Farm. Now I am secure of you forever. Harriet Smith refused Robert Martin. Yes. Then she's a greater simpleton than I thought. What is the foolish girl about? You wrote her answer. Emma, this is your doing. You persuaded her to refuse him. And if I did, I should not feel that I'd done wrong. Harriet Smith is the natural daughter of nobody knows whom. A girl with no connection. She's pretty, she is good tempered, and that is all. She knows now what a gentleman is, and no one but a gentleman has any chance with Harriet. You're not thinking of Elton. If you are, depend upon it, Elton won't do. He may talk sentimentally, but he will act rationally. He knows the value of a good income. You have done your friend no favors, Emma. You have spoiled her best chance of happiness. Good day to you. You are wrong, Mr. Knightley, and you will see you are wrong, and then you will be sorry. 오늘이는 크리스마스 날. 갑작스레 자신의 마음을 고백해 오는 엘튼. Mr. Elton, forgive me. I can't help myself. Dearest Miss Woodhouse. 엘만은 조금의 고민도 없이 그의 고백을 가설하고. Mr. Elton, I think you must have drunk too much of Mr. Weston's good wine. After all your attentions to Miss Smith, do you ask me to believe you have never thought seriously of her? Miss Smith. I think seriously of Miss Smith. Encouragement I received. Encouragement. Sir, you've been entirely mistaken in supposing it. 엠마에게 거절당한 엘트맨 얼마 있지 않아 이곳을 떠납니다. Oh, Harriet, can you ever forgive me? There is nothing to forgive. I have nothing to complain of. I'm heartily ashamed of myself, and I'm determined to mend my ways. 그러던 어느 날 캠벨 대령의 딸과 동무로 자라온 제인 페어팩스라는 여성이 이곳 하이버리 사교에 나타나는데. 비록 고아로 자라났지만 그녀는 아름다운 외모와 함께 다양한 재능들을 갖추고 있었죠. I've rarely heard anything to equal her. She would make a good companion for you. I'm sure you're right, but I cannot warm to her. I don't know why. Perhaps because you see in her the truly accomplished young lady you would like to be thought yourself. You will make me quite ashamed of myself. 그로부터 얼마 뒤 런던 사교계의 유명 인사 프랭크 처칠이 하이버리에 방문하는데. We meet at last. I was extremely happy to meet Mrs. Weston. I was sure I would like her from her letters, but I didn't expect to see such beauty. 잘생긴 애모의 프랭크는 처음 만난 엠마에게 관심을 보이죠. I didn't expect to see a pretty young woman. Mr. Churchill, you couldn't praise her too highly for me, but you mustn't let Mrs. Weston hear you speaking of her as a pretty young woman. I know whom I might praise without being thought extravagant in my terms. Highbury 시내를 함께 구경하던 중 프랭크와 제인이 아는 사이란 것을 알게 되는데. And how did you think Miss Fairfax looked? Oh, if ladies can be allowed to look ill, a most deplorable want of complexion. Did you see her often at Weymouth? Ah. This must be Ford's. That everybody attends every day of their lives. 또한 이곳을 떠난 엘튼이 부잣집 상속녀와 결혼했다는 소식까지 듣게 되죠. Everybody's full of it. A gog to see Mr. Elton's bride. So, this is where they will live. I think they'll be very snug and happy. It's a perfectly good house to share with the woman you truly love. A man would be a blockhead who wanted more. You can say this, you who have been used to Enscombe with every degree of luxury. What is the good of wealth and luxury, where there is no true happiness? 한편 마을에서는 떠들썩한 일이 벌어졌는데 정치 불명의 남성이 제인에게 고급 피아노를 선물한 것이었죠. And it arrived just yesterday without any direction. Jane herself was quite at a loss who it could be from. Why do you suspect something? Colonel Campbell is not the giver who can be. I have no doubt at all. It was an offering of love. An offering of love. 식사가 끝난 뒤 모두 모인 자리에서 제인은 피아노를 치며 노래를 부르는데. What's the matter? Really, Miss Fairfax has done her hair in so very odd a way. I never saw anything so outre. I must go and ask her whether it's an Irish fashion. 
하지만 그런 제인을 바라보는 나이트리의 표정이 심상치 않았는데요. 그의 마음이 어디로 향하는지 눈치채긴 충분했죠. He is a great admirer of her talents. What if he should have sent for this piano forte? I absolutely insist. My dear sir, I must intervene. If Miss Fairfax says she is tired, then we should have the courtesy to believe her. Would you have her sing herself hoarse? Come, Miss Fairfax, you have earned a rest. Thank you. 한편 아이버리를 떠났던 엘튼이 그의 부인과 함께 돌아오고. My brother and sister have promised us a visit in the summer. They will have their barouche landor, of course, which holds four perfectly. But you will have many parties of that kind, I suppose, Miss Woodhouse. No, not many. We are a very quiet set of people. Well, we must do something about that, must we not, Mr. E? Indeed, Augusta. 잘난 척에 어딘가 거만한 그녀의 모습이 엠마의 마음에 들지 않는데요. Insufferable woman, with her caro spouse and her Mr. E. Actually, to discover that Mr. Knightley is a gentleman. 그러던 어느 날 병세가 악화된 어머니를 뵈러 프랭크는 급히 집으로 돌아가려 하고. But you will come again. This will not be your only visit to Highbury. It has been such a fortnight. Every day more precious than the day before, making me less fit to bear any other place. Not five minutes to spare, even for Miss Fairfax and Miss Bates. Oh yes, I have called there. Uh, passing the door, I thought it the right thing to do. 그렇게 프랭크가 이곳을 떠나지만 엠마는 그의 빈자리를 전혀 느끼지 못하죠. Are you very sad that Mr. Frank Churchill has had to go away? I believe I've enjoyed every moment I've spent in his company, but I suspect he's not necessary to my happiness. 시간이 지나 프랭크가 돌아오고 하이버리의 무도회가 열리는데요. 엘튼은 마치 엠마에게 복수라도 하되 보란듯 해리엇을 따돌리고 이 모습을 지켜본 나이트이가 그녀에게로 다가가죠 아, 미스터 나이트 Excuse me, sir. That was well done. I think they aimed at wounding more than Harriet. I admit now I was completely mistaken in Mr. Elton. There is a littleness about him which you discovered and I did not. Well, in my turn, I'll admit she has some first-rate qualities which Mrs. Elton is totally without. Single-minded, artless girl. Infinitely to be preferred by any man of sense and taste to such a woman as Mrs. Elton. When you talk to him, he seems quite different. It does seem like Providence or something out of a romance full of brigands and outlaws. Happy to have been of service, Miss Smith. Emma는 프랭크와 해리엇이 잘 어울리는 한 쌍이라 생각하는데. I wouldn't leave without seeing you. Isn't this rather a sudden scheme? Yes. I must go. Frank 때와는 달리 엠마는 큰 허전함을 느끼죠. Nor I. 이후 얼마 되지 않아 프랭크의 어머니가 세상을 떠났는데. Will she have left Mr. Frank Churchill enough money to make him independent? And given that, who will he marry? Now he is free to make his own choice. I gather that the stepfather is a very easygoing man and quite unlike his wife. 충격적인 것은 어머니의 사망 직후 프랭크가 제인과 서둘러 약혼을 했다는 것이었죠. He has been secretly engaged to her since October last, when they met at Weymouth. It was he who sent the piano. What is the matter? It seems the engagement had to be secret. He had to deceive us all because he feared his aunt's disapproval. Or feared she would disinherit him. Some part of his conduct we cannot excuse. Let me relieve you on that score at least. There was a time, I confess, when I liked him. 
And how it came to cease, I do not know, but you may believe me, I am safe. Oh, Lord, how shall I break it to Harriet? Harriet? Me? Why should you think it would affect me? You don't think I care for Mr. Frank Churchill? Harriet is not a good person. I would never have thought of Mr. Knightley, you know, if you had not encouraged me. Oh, God, that I never met her! 해리엇의 갑작스런 고백에 엠마는 뒤늦게 자신의 마음을 깨닫고 프랭크와 제인의 소식을 들은 나이트인은 엠마가 걱정돼 하이버리로 돌아오죠 My dearest Emma, time will heal the wound. 그런 그에게 차분히 자신의 마음을 이야기하는 엠마 I have never really been attached to Mr. Churchill. I'm sorry if I gave that impression, as I am sure I did. My vanity was flattered and I allowed his attentions. He never wished to make me fall in love with him. It was a blind to conceal his real situation. He has imposed on me, but he has not injured me. 하지만 나이트이는 지금의 상황에 화가 나기만 한데요. You know, he is a most fortunate man. Everything turns out for his good. A fortunate man indeed. You speak as if you envied him. 그리고 숨겨왔던 마음을 고백합니다. In one respect, I envy him very much. I must tell you what you will not ask, though I may wish it unsaid the next moment. Oh, then don't speak it. Take a little time. Don't commit yourself. Yes, I will hear you. Have I no chance of ever succeeding, my dearest Emma? If I loved you less, I might be able to talk about it more. But you know what I am. You hear nothing but truth from me. I can. I do return them. I do love you. Oh, Lord, Harriet. 한편 해리엇은 마틴의 청혼을 받아들이고. I'm going to be married to Mr. Robert Martin, and I found I couldn't say no. In fact, I believe I have truly been in love with dear Robert all the time. Oh, Harriet. This is very good news indeed. Emma는 전과 다른 성숙한 모습으로 마틴을 대하죠. Miss Woodhouse, may I have the honour of presenting Mr. Robert Martin? I hope you'll both be very happy, and I hope you'll come and visit us soon at Hartfield with your sister, of course, and Miss Smith. 진정한 짝을 찾은 엠마와 라이트의 행복한 모습을 끝으로 영화는 마무리됩니다. Thank you.